So while we were down here at Yamaha UK, uh, we thought we'd take the opportunity to, to get Jeff Turner to talk us through just the new dash um, on the MTO now, it's new for this year, but as a way of just for those people who haven't seen what kind of the latest TFT dash do, what the latest systems are on a bike, to just go through and see how, how each generation of the, these displays get better, more intuitive, easier to use. So yes, the uh, 2024 MT-09 has a lot of upgrades and changes, but one of the biggest things that the rider will notice is the new switchgear and the new interfaces. Uh, this being the YAMT version, uh, this has keyless ignition, so you're already standing near to me with a, a key, so uh, we should be able to get into the fuel cap already, no lock on that needed. Uh, then we can turn the bike on by a quick press in and a turn and that brings everything to life. So you've got to be within a meter, yeah. uh, and then everything is functioning. We've got a brand new switch gear, uh, cluster on the left-hand side and on the right-hand side, uh, with lots of new functions. So uh, a few interesting little functions, obviously we've got cruise control, which works pretty much in the standard way, on and off and, and setting it. Uh, we've also got a, quite an interesting new take on indicators with this rocker switch. So if we want to put the indicators on to go right, if we do a very quick touch, it just flashes three times. That might be a lane yeah. change. Uh, and then same with the other way, quick touch, and you get three flashes and it turns itself off. Yeah. For a longer uh, indicator, then you press it all the way and it continues to flash, but it's on an automatic cancel. So after 150 meters, it'll turn itself off or we can turn it off by just pressing it the same way. Don't go with the press it the opposite way. Yeah. It's not a rocker switch. Yeah. Uh, so that's a clever new thing. Um, but of course, the main functionality here is within the new uh, selection process. We've got this little joystick and a menu in and out button. So this is the standard default screen that you can see here. Uh, there's a few extra things because it's the uh, YAMT mode. So you can see here, we've got the little M for manual mode. And if I flick the switch uh, to here, that now changes in the dial and we're now on auto mode. So uh, the D plus, that's the sporty automatic version. And if we press the mode button like that, we get the D standard, which is the ordinary motion, uh, uh, version. The number one thing you probably want to have a look at here is selecting the menus. Hmm. So. In the uh, standard mode that we're in, if we go up and down through this, you can select how you want your uh, information displayed, and we can scroll up and down in each one of this to customize the screen. So if we want to have it on odometer, and instead of uh, coolant, we might decide we'll go with air temperature, and then we'll scroll across. Uh, if we don't want the fuel gauge on, we might go for trip depending on what you want. So you can customize this to show the information you want. Yeah. Uh, all three of them have the same presets, so you can just scroll through. So we select that, come out of there, and if we press this again, we'll get into the, the menu here at the bottom. So the first thing we'll start off with is the themes. As we select the themes, you'll see we have four different takes on the dash display. That's theme one, theme two, theme three, theme four. Uh, theme four is useful if we're also using the navigation because it pushes all of the rev counter and functions to the top of the screen. But for, for this purpose, we'll choose the standard uh, setting here. We'll go back into the main uh, menu choice and we'll move across to uh, settings. Within settings, we can show all the different vehicle information. Um, but most importantly, we have the vehicle function. So if we click into vehicle function, we have YRC settings. Yeah. So this shows you the, the settings uh, within the YRC mode that the, the bike is using when you have the different modes selected. So you can see here in sport mode, it's selecting number one on power, number two on traction control, number uh, one on slide control, number one on lift control. And as we scroll across, you can also see the brake control on. So that's your, your sport setting. I'm scrolling back across. If we go into street, it selects different power, traction, slide and lift. Yep. We go into rain, it's a very soft setting. 
Um, and you'll see on these, if I scroll back, we can't actually change these. I can click into them and you can see what they are. Um, and that gives you a little description of what's going on. Um, but we haven't actually uh, been able to change them because they're preset. Those first three settings are preset. If you want to have your own, then you go into custom, you select that, we'll scroll across. I can now set custom where I want it. So I can have two personalized settings. And the lower the number, the less intervention. That's, yeah, so right. number one is minimal intervention by the computer system, yeah. and number four is a lot of intervention. So uh, you have a different amount of uh, levels for the different things. Custom one, custom two, uh, if we scroll back again, um, and on this, because it has automatic, we can also preset what our automatic systems are going to be. Okay. So here we have the D plus system, so that's the aggressive one. But you might decide you want a more aggressive throttle, so we can select into there. That's on, on the minimum setting there. Select across, less traction. Uh, slide control's okay, we'll have minimum lift, and we can select that, and that's now a fixed setting for your D. Okay. If we go yeah. all the way back across, D, that's effectively a rain mode, so maybe we just have a little bit more on the traction um, and a little bit more on the lift, liven it up a bit, um, and there, there is your automatic okay. mode set. We also have the facility to be able to download these modes through the app. Um, and we also have stability control, which is another area that uh, riders might want to uh, play around with to, to set the bike up as they wish. So if we click into stability control, you can see it's possible to turn functions on and to turn functions off. So yeah. if you want no lift control, as in the bike will accelerate even when the, the wheel is lifting, um, you can switch that off. Backslip regulates are the same. Um, the only thing is that if you have all the settings on and you turn traction off, and as you can see, that turns it's everything off because you need the wheel speed always. So when the traction is off and the wheel speed uh, sensors are effectively off, it can't activate the other uh, systems. Yeah. So traction has to be on if you want to then do more controls. Um, so Steve, you're a you're an experienced rider. I think we'll have the, the lift control off for you so you get a, a nice exciting ride. So yeah. that's pretty much it really. Um, they're very customizable and um, you've got lots of other settings in here. Obviously things like clock, units, a shift indicator, you can uh, set where you want the light to, yeah. to, to fire at you. Um, and then uh, connectivity settings, which uh, I know you've just done. So on this particular bike, if we go back to the um, themes uh, and we select theme number four, that changes the dash. Um, and now you do your connectivity. It's now on your phone and you should be able to bring up your navigation and we'll press accept and there you go. Yeah. A free Garmin right. street system which will give you turn by turn navigation when you set in a destination. Lovely. So that's all preset and all part of the package you get with the 2024 MT09. Right. right, thanks for that. Pleasure. Really Enjoyed.